more than half of the retail poultry in the world is contaminated with the food poisoning bacteria Campylobacter. About 50% of European poultry, 60% of North American retail, more than 70% in the United States, most of which were recently reported to be antibiotic resistant. But not all strains of Campylobacter can trigger human paralysis. Not all strains have that molecular mimic. Researchers at Hopkins and UCLA recently looked into the prevalence of the potentially neuropathic strains of Campylobacter in commercial poultry products right off of supermarket shelves. Of 65 isolates of Campylobacter they found, only about 60% were in the three classes most associated with the development of paralysis. So the odds may be only 50-50 you know, or so that you might be bringing home something that could trigger Guillain-Barré syndrome. Even if you make the wrong choice, though, I mean, who undercooks chicken? I mean, you know, eggs I can see. People like their sunny-side-up yolk a little runny, or a burger that's you know, a little pink inside. But who wants rare chicken? Right? That's not the main problem. It's not the undercooking, it's the cross-contamination. Once that meat thermometer hits the right temperature, any and all fecal contamination is cooked. You could let your kids play with it. You could rub your toothbrush on it. Right? All viruses and bacteria are dead. Uh, I mean, you could uh, still I don't know, you know, choke on a chicken bone, puncture an artery, bleed to death, but the you know, infectious disease problem with chicken is between when you first touch the package at the store and when it finally makes it into the pot. You can have you know, all the safe cooking labels you want, but that won't you know, raise awareness that bacteria from the surface of the chicken meat can stick to the hands of the cook, or could be spread in the kitchen environment, and subsequently may contaminate ready-to-eat foods like salads or you know, already cooked foods accompanying the meal. Why don't we have that kind of label instead of just safe cooking? Consumer surveys show that the majority of people want to see that kind of information on food packaging. Right? Why not just name poultry, meat, and eggs as likely contamination sources with foodborne pathogens like Salmonella and Campylobacter? Right? Good for consumer safety, public health. But from an industry point of view, the problem with that is that it's been shown that this sort of naming and blaming infection risks to poultry, meat, and eggs may result in a drop of poultry, meat, and egg consumption.